Okay, I can't help myself. So here's what we've all been waiting for. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be making my cabinet things that I got from Ikea <laughs> and changing my craft room around. So when I moved into Reese's house a couple months ago, I moved in from a very large area to probably an area that was a third of the size probably. So it has been a challenge for me <laughs> to move into such a small area, but I'm trying to make it work. So I've gone out and I've got an industrial machine, as you may know already, uh, which is really exciting. So I've had to move a lot of things around to try and fit that in. If you don't know what an industrial machine entails, a sewing machine that's actually in built into a desk in most cases. Uh, so it has its own table. So I couldn't exactly move it like I would my usual machines. I usually move all my machines and leave my big square table clutter free because I can't, <laughs> I just can't stand anything on it. Yeah, like right now the, well, the craft room is an absolute chaos right now because I put this industrial machine in into the corner but I haven't moved anything else because I feared no point in trying to find homes, homes for any of this stuff because I'm moving everything out and moving everything around anyway. So I haven't even used the industrial machine yet. It's been a week. I got it a week ago today. I haven't even used it. I haven't even turned it on. I don't even know if it worked from my trip home. I honestly don't know, which that's a little bit of a concern and I probably won't know for a couple more days because I'm not turning it on until I know everything's in the right place and then I can actually start sewing. I still don't know what I'm doing with the middle table. I'm getting rid of the one I have. I'm pretty much changing everything that I have in there. What I have in there was from Kmart, cost me less than like $300, maybe $250. I'll probably sell it maybe. At the moment I've got two, I'm doing like the Ikea hack. Uh, so I've got two of the eight cube units. I'm gonna put them on their side. I'm also gonna put like chunks, like wood chunks. So I can have probably a pocket like I usually did. And then I'm gonna have a really hard tabletop. I just, I don't know where I'm gonna get the tabletop. I don't mind spending, you know, a couple hundred on it, but it's just where and the size I want. The size I want, I wanted to get it from Ikea, but all their sizing was so small. I wanted it an actual square or at least, you know, 100 by 100 centimeters. And there was nothing, everything was just small or skinny. And I didn't wanna do the two and two again because that just leaves a line it just it's in the way so hopefully i can figure something out my brother is going to help me with the desk which was good yeah i need to make all the cabinets so we're going to make them in the garage because there's no point trying to move them into here there's no space to build them in here and there's no space to build them in my craft room <laughs> and it's also really really heavy like really heavy the massive cabinets so I wouldn't be able to carry them anyway. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to lift them off the wall. So I might have to just make the small things first and then save those for later when someone might be able to come and help me lift it off the wall maybe uh, <laughs> and help me out, but we'll see. Anyway, I'll go show you the craft room what it looks like right now because it is chaos. So it's in this corner over here. As you can see, everything is just an absolute mess. I haven't actually been in here for a few days because I can't stand mess. Like, I just can't. So I've decided I'm not even going to try in here at the moment. I'm going to build everything in a different room because I can't look at it. <laughs> just, yeah, oh, I can't stand this. Like, uh, too much clutter. That's where it's going. And then I'm going to put my two bigger cabinets here. And then I've got some stuff to go over here. And I was also thinking possibly I could put these things behind that, but I don't know yet. It's an idea. That's where I'm at at the moment. There's just, ugh, just stuff everywhere. Also, if I look terrible, it's because I went for a run with Flo. Well, it's not called a run. It was more of a walk slash jog. Um, and I decided there's no point showering because I'm going to be trying to lift these things and sweating up them anyway. Because, oh my god, they're so heavy. They're so heavy. I Yeah, I don't know how I'm going to go with it. Um, and I'm going to be on the floor in the garage. So, like, no point in even changing this <laughs> the sweatshirt I'm wearing. The sweater. Um, I love it. It is so comfy. It is my favourite. And I love the colour. So, I think I might do custom orders for this colour. And, yeah. Uh, when they come out in January, but I've also been wearing it for like a week straight. It's so <laughs> ah, 
I'm outing myself right now. Okay, we're going to the garage. There's people across the road and I've got the garage open, so I probably won't talk because it's awkward and they might look at me funny. Okay. So I've got the two cabinets and then at the back, what's at the back? There should be three big boxes. Oh, no, it's the two cubes and then the two boxes and then three at the back. So there's like seven items to make. I think three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to make the cube units yet though. Yeah, I'm going to leave, leave the cube units. I want to make the bookshelves. <laughs> This is so thick. Look at this massive. When I got from Kmart like this. <laughs> Look at it. to make clear that um i said it was monday no i said it was tuesday it's actually monday the holidays messed me up so bad <laughs> anyone anyone else mess anyone else up like last week i forgot to post my youtube video my mom was like oh what are you posting tonight because i was at hers for dinner i'm like what it's wednesday no no it's thursday <laughs> so that ended up going up at 2 a.m on friday <laughs> Oops. I've got the garage open like a meter because it is really cold. I still feel awkward talking because there's probably people around. Um, it's been raining too, which it wasn't meant to rain. 
Also, the one I'm doing right now, it is so hard to do. So when I went to Ikea, I ended up getting two different ones of these. One was more, so much more expensive, but I wanted them to match. So I have one that's high gloss and one that's normal gloss, well like normal. I don't know which one this is. I would say this is the cheaper one and not the high gloss one. Yeah, one of them cost me, I think it was 85. 85 and then the other one was 119 because they had no others in stock. And they only had, I think, one of the high gloss ones in stock as well. Ikea is like an hour and a half away from me, or nearly two hours. Okay, I'm up to the next one. Also, I'm not going to put these on yet because I don't know if I'm going to put blocks underneath it yet to make it higher. Because I, yeah, at the moment, they're too low. So, yeah, I don't know. So, I want to have my kit. I want it here. At, at the bare minimum. But I'm thinking of putting a block underneath here so I can have gap. And I don't know how big this is going to be. But yeah, I might need something underneath just to make it that bit higher. Wow. Shiny. Okay, this is really close. <laughs> I'm hoping my brother can come help me. He doesn't really need to come help me too much, so if he doesn't make it, that's okay. But in the meantime, I need to move everything out. And I can move these ones because they're only like thin, not very good Kmart ones. So these aren't the issue. What the issue will be, we'll be getting the big ones in here because they are really heavy. I could barely move them where I moved them to. I barely could move them from the ground up. Try and move all this stuff. Okay, I might as well start. Yeah, what I need to do, I just need to move everything out or at least on this table. No, not on the table because I need to move the table out. If Jackson does come, the table's going. My Stanley knife is in there and it's so deep in there too. Oh my god, I think I'm doing it on the wrong side. I guess I take that side. <laughs> Try again. Bingo! 
Hopefully I measured that right. <laughs> Too bad if I didn't. Okay, moment of the truth. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, it works. <laughs> it works. <laughs> So I probably actually could have got four for there. <laughs> I just got this in on a skateboard. <laughs> All right, so I managed to get everything in except the table because the table isn't made yet. I'll go out there and explain it later, but let's have a look. So these are massive compared to my tiny little cupboard things. These are, these are humongous. I like when I flipped it up, I was like, oh my God, it's going to hit the roof. So yeah, I don't even think I'd be able to fit. Like that's really high up. I don't know if I'd be able to put anything up there. Oh, I might, I might put something up there like that I don't use, use very much. My brother is coming over tomorrow though. He's going to come over tonight, but we really wouldn't be able to do much anyway. So he's going to come over tomorrow to help me with the new table and he's going to drill those into the wall because I don't know. He said there's a specific way you do it and I don't know how. So I don't know whether to put those into. One thing that's annoying me, they're a different color. I don't know if you can tell on the video, but that is very, very white white. And that is like an off white. Not loving that, but it is what it is. They're probably the same and maybe the cubes will be the same too. Really happy with them. They are awesome. I'll show you my cubes soon too. I got like a heap of crates. I shouldn't say cubes, they're crates. Over here, obviously the industrial was in the back corner, but I was like, well, I'm gonna have to sell these if I don't put them in here somewhere. And the only logical place to put them was behind this. I've got more bits and pieces now, I guess. There's not a lot of stuff that can go in here. I kind of just thought more space behind would be good when I'm sewing heaps of scrunchies because... Reese called me in the middle of whatever I was filming. It was something to do with the desk and I can't remember where I was up to. So sorry if that cuts out completely. I think I'm showing you the room. I got these over here. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I can't keep stock of anything. But if I have these sitting here, I feel like I might actually have a chance. <laughs> so this is an Excel I made spare by accident. So I could probably fit four at least of each color in there. And I know that's like, doesn't seem like a lot, but for me, that's so much stock considering I usually have nothing. I usually have whatever is my market stock and that's all I've got. So if I've got, you know, like a whole row of XLs in all my different colors, that's just gonna help me out so much and I can grab them for markets and stuff. And honestly, I could probably fit more than that too, because, I could really fit a lot more than four. I could probably fit like six, eight. I don't know, I'd have to give it a go. And then my other side scrunchie, oh, I'll be able to fit like at least 10 in there, probably even 15. And as, as I said, this is all my fabric. <laughs> I won't be able to fit a lot of the different styles anyway. I don't really know if I'll do two in, in these ones, a row in a row. I don't know. I'll have to start making scrunchies and see what I can do with it. But I just thought it'd be a nice little storage area for my scrunchies, considering I don't really have any spot. And at least I can see all the popular ones. So my plan is to do popular designs and stuff. I think it would just be white elastic. We'll see if we can try to keep a stock of it because I just, I can't. I've been chasing, trying to keep stock of my scrunchies for the last four years and I haven't been able to keep up. So I got these. These are from AliExpress. I don't know the shop. I'm actually thinking about buying some more though. Oh, uh, the shop seller is Yolala. <laughs> Yolala store. Organized. Yolala organized store. Um, so these came so quick. I got the two big ones and two of the medium because they sent it in three different parcels. Um, I got those like within a week, I think. And the other ones came, they might have come before Christmas actually, like 10 days from China. So they came super quick. I, was, I don't really know how to do it and they don't fit. 
side by side. <laughs> Unfortunately, it would have been good if they did, but they're just a little bit too big. They fit nicely stacked on top of each other. Um, okay, for the quality, I'm really impressed with the price. These ones actually were pretty expensive to be hedged. Smaller ones, I think, were around $7. These ones were 11 the bigger ones, and then these ones were 18 well, I got them cheap because I used a discount code and then I used another discount code on top of that. So, and I didn't pay any shipping either. It was free shipping. But they're pretty good. Like, they are a little bit flimsy. But they're still pretty sturdy. I've had a lot flimsier in the past. These ones, wait, this probably easier. This is super sturdy. The small ones, they're like built awesome. I think the medium's the most flimsy ones. Yeah. So they're super flimsy, those ones. But they are more for like display purposes, I think. So like in my videos, I wanted to sort of have this corner now to film. Uh, and I might change the colors around since so it's pink on this side as well. That's something I wanted to do from the start. I wanted to have white in this corner, not blue, because it sort of makes no sense having blue in this corner. So that's something I could do as well change it around this is all i have though i just i don't know how to put everything in so i'm gonna start putting all the big stuff in so the printers the cricket all the bulky things that don't, can't really go in anything like this oh i also got something for my um what do you call it my boxes <laughs> my cardboard boxes i got like a bike rack i saw it as a thing like i saw it like as a what people do and I thought, oh, that's interesting. So I'm going to give that a go. I'm going to open it up and see how big it is. But I don't know where I'm going to put it now because this is tall. Like, this this is me. You know? It is tall. So it's going to be too tall for me to put my boxes up here. And I don't know if I want to put my boxes on the shorter ones just because, you know, I could knock something. I could put them at the bottom here and have it in the rack. I was sort of hoping to have it underneath something. I don't know. So, and it was 50 bucks the bike rack, so I don't even know how long it is. I'm also gonna have to get rid of one of these. So I've got four up here. Now that I've got Juki, I will not really be using these as much. I have one set up in black. I don't know, so I'm gonna have to play with, play around with the Juki because I, I actually haven't made a scrunchie with it yet. All I've done is so some strips at, and they were short ones anyway when I was testing it out. One of these needs to go back to Spotlight anyway because it's broken. I guess this one. You probably didn't have this fabric on top. I think it's the darker one because I'm pretty sure the lighter one was my, my old one. The new one just <sighs> drive me insane. And the Air Artist, <laughs> I don't even think I have uh, the personalized stuff anymore on my shops. Maybe on Etsy, uh, maybe the bows, but. I sort of took them all down because it was just too hard. So I don't know whether to leave that up as a display item or take it away as well. I think I usually have four up here. It looks weird. <laughs> yeah, it's just too cluttered. So I'm guessing I'm going to take this back to the shop and see if they can do anything with it. Otherwise, I'm just going to have to like... I'll, I'll probably won't sell it because it, it drives me insane. I don't want to sell it off to someone else because it'll drive them insane too. And it's not really worth getting it serviced unless you know what you're doing uh, someone suggested the time belt or like the belt on it is slipped and that could be it but i'm no expert at sewing or any of that so i don't know enough rambling i'm gonna go put some bigger stuff in this is what i've done over this way the reason i chose to put all the printers and everything on this side is because i use them all the time uh, and the leads, they don't look as messy on this side. So they kind of get hidden, especially the top one. The top one you can't even see the lead because it goes under here. Out of breath. <laughs> uh, so yeah. So I've got the Canon printer. That needs space up the top. So that had to go on the top regardless of wherever I was going to put it. Because it needs the feeder spot. It is a little bit awkward because obviously the juke is in front of it. But I can still reach on my tippy toes to put more paper in. These ones, so obviously they are pretty tall. But I never really use any of these except maybe the receipts one I use every few months when I do the bath statement. Then my cricket mats on the top, which again I don't really use it, so like higher it is, doesn't really matter. Transfer paper I do use, cardstock I do use, display cards I do use. So they're all 
quite easy for me to get. I don't need a step on chair or anything. Uh, I got my mom bin. So this is actually probably the best spot that I've ever had my mom bin before. So it's just chilling on top of the other cannon frame that I have. Which I use that uh, pretty much just as much as I use this one. I use this one for the invoices and international postage labels. I use this one for shipping labels and I use this one for stickers and my labels. But <laughs> my labels, which if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know that I hand make all of my scrunchie labels. So all my tags. I have just ordered about 5,000 tags from a supplier overseas. I'm getting them done for my jumpers too. It's gonna be MBTR, which is made by Taylor Rose. Like a little tag here, which I thought was like a more professional touch. I'm hoping to leave this space clear because I want scrunchies to, and this space here too. Um, when I'm sewing, I can sort of divert them into those areas. This one, I'll probably put some stuff in. And then there's room underneath. The ones underneath though, they're gonna be ones which are harder to get to. So they're sort of, going to be safe for stuff that I don't use. Oh yeah, and I put the Cricut in. I thought the Cricut could have its own shelf and like look a bit neater, which I might even move these down so then there's more space because these move. That's my update. And then I've got all this stuff down here. So I'm hoping to put this sort of stuff in the crates and I'm probably going to leave those as they are. The back crack is too big, um, I've just kind of set it up, I haven't put all the screws in properly yet, they're just kind of sitting there, but I just tried to put it on top of really anything, I was even considering putting it on top of this, but it's just too wide so it's going to fall off, but it's just not going to work for me I don't think, and then I was thinking maybe I can turn up on its side, but then there's ones like this that are massive and really need to be vertical. Um, so this is what I was imagining, uh, obviously not just in these two little gap things, like all here as well, full, um, I just put them in the gaps because they sit up nicer because I don't have as many boxes right, right with me right now. I think I'm going to have to take it back, it's not going to work for what I wanted it for. I'm getting really freaked out because it's like that. I've just taken the really heavy box down. It should be alright until tomorrow. Jackson's gonna come drill it in. Like I can't even knock that over by like pulling it so it should be alright. Uh, okay, so this is what I mean uh, with the holes. <laughs> so that's six XL scrunchies in there. I honestly could fit more if I wanted. They would also all be the same color. These ones, uh, there's currently 4, 8, 12, 16 in there. I could fit, I could probably fit 20 quite easily. Again, they would all be the same color or possibly half and half. So there would be um, maybe 10 of that and 10 of that one. So that is a lot of stock when you think about it. 
considering this is literally all I have on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> if it's too bulky, it will, you know. These ones are velvet. So velvet's obviously a lot thicker. So I'd probably only be able to fit 16 velvets, but I definitely would be able to fit 20 of the normal. So I did them that way so they wouldn't do that. I also have to uh, put these and like staple them into the wall because they're a bit rockety, rickety. I don't like that. So I want my marker stuff in here because before it was in that corner, but obviously you can't fit in that corner anymore. All that stuff is really annoying. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I need to get rid of it, but I'm a fabric hoarder. I really do need to colour some fabric cell or something. Um, this, that has all tubes in it. I need to make all those scrunchies. So that's what I'm planning to do. I want to make the scrunchies that are in there. Make the scrunchies that are in these boxes. So I want to sew all these up. Those three. On the industrial. What else? And then that means I'll have like most of this cupboard space free again. Because... I could probably really make a lot more room in here if I wanted to. And there's so much room over here. I don't, I don't even know what to put on the shelves anymore. I don't even know if I mentioned it, but these are so hard to clip in and out. Uh, yeah, they really were really hard. The small ones were not too bad, but yeah, the big ones and the really big ones, they were... <laughs> they hurt to put in and out. They weren't as easy as them. Uh, so I still have these two medium ones to fill up. I filled this one up with random um, bows that need to be made. Yeah, that's just a mess. The only stuff that's really left in the bathroom, um, that's the wholesale order I need to do uh, tomorrow or the next day whenever I get everything done in the craft room. Uh, needs to go out Wednesday. Um... Then we've got the mini scrunchies that need to go back in the garage because they don't actually belong in here. There's boxes of like pre-cut stuff that I had from markets. So I'd like to sew all them up and get those made to scrunchies. That is a whole bag of more fabric. Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna have to roll that up too, I guess. When I make the table, these will be going inside the table in the little squares. They better fit. I haven't even checked. They should. They should fit. <laughs> like, yeah, they should fit. Um, yeah, so I'm planning on putting them in the squares. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe I might put it right there. Because I still do like it. Because it wheels around. It's sort of like my junk thing. And if I don't have that, I'll probably end up chucking stuff somewhere else, you know? Oh! Hello! What are you doing? Okay, so the cupboard. It's just a mess in here. Barely got any clips left. Honestly, all these clips can go right down the bottom. All of that can fit down there. They need to go up. They're the scrunchie holders, which I don't even know if I like them anymore. I should have got white or pink acrylic. I don't know why I thought clear. It was just dumb. And I ordered 100 of them. So I think I'm just going to sell them cheap or add them in as bonuses. Because some of them don't fit either um into each other and I, I read a comment that said not all acrylics the same width so when they've like cut out every single one of them and use different acrylics across the board it's not going to fit in every single one so i have to like test pre-test them every time uh, so that's why i haven't put them up yet because it's just been a pain and then i got these they they stink i don't know what to do with them either they smell so bad. I'm going to have to try and hang them out. I'm going to try and wash them. I don't know. But they are tote bags. And I wanted to make stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll hang some out and see if I can smell it. But no, seriously. These actually reek. Oh my god, I can smell it already. Oh, it just it smells so bad. I emailed the company and they're like, oh, it's normal. I'm like, eh. Okay, well, it smells like mold. But all right. No worries. I don't know. It's like the smell that you get with canvas. It stinks though. Yeah, they're the tote bags. I'm gonna heat press onto them or screen print onto them. I actually have screen printing stuff. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> so like, I have all the screen printing stuff to do screen printing. But I was like, I ain't doing 100, no, 199 jumpers. No way. Okay, well, that's pretty much my little update. So I'm gonna go to bed. Um, hopefully, I don't know what time Jackson's coming in the morning to help me out. 
with the table. I'm gonna have to move everything out again. But it shouldn't be too bad. I'll just chuck everything in a box. Get rid of it. Oh, Reese is meant to be coming home tomorrow too, which is good because he was he's got he's been away and he's gonna be away for so he's away for, he was away for Christmas and he's gonna be away for New Year's too. So he was pretty much away like the whole holiday season. So that's why I was like. Well, I don't really want to take time off, but I'm really in a break from orders, so I'm just going to be, yeah, doing this stuff and making scrunchies and doing back-end work while, rather than actually fulfilling orders at the moment. Besides that wholesale one, I need to do that, but, uh, yeah. So he's going to be home tomorrow for a day or two, because, like, wait, one last thing. <laughs> this is going to be the behind the scenes of the setup. This will not be an actual tour. Tour will come out after. And honestly, the tour will probably come out once I have this scrunchy wall filled because I want to <laughs> actually have something in it to show you guys. So, anyway, bye. <laughs> Okay, so I've been in Bunnings with Jackson this morning. It, they don't have much and it's so expensive, everything. The size I want, they can't do. They don't have anything that size unless it's... Well, I put Malamine in there, which is what I have in the craft room now. And that's, that stuff chips so easily. So what I went with was this. It's two pieces. Um, so I'm thinking about putting that on top it needs to be cut so it would be like pretty much flush on that side and then flush on this side so that would be way over having a bit bigger thing than that maybe up to here so yeah it needs to be cut I also got this to put underneath that and then I also got some beam things to make it higher so some on the bottom some over there so I'm going to spray paint those and I think I might actually leave the wood look. Like, it actually looks nice. I was going to spray paint it, but I actually kind of like the wood look. It looks, yeah. So I might just, yeah, leave the wood look. Because I do like it. So we've moved the tables out. What's going to have to happen is because the table that I'm putting in here is way too big, it's actually going to have to be assembled in this room because it won't fit through this doorway or that hallway. Liquid nails. Liquid nails. That's that true. <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm so tired. Good morning. <laughs> Okay, first things first, you like my pajamas, they have Reese's face on them, he got them for my birthday. Anyway, um, I can't build changing right now. Okay, so it is so bright right now, it is, it's, I think it's gonna be really hot today. And especially over New Year's, it's meant to go up to like 38 degrees. That's like crazy. I'm gonna show you what happened with my desk. Um, it's really cool. I don't even know where to start, because I can't remember what I filmed, but... This is my desk. Yo! <laughs> um, okay, and we've got a lip thing over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to get a new chair because um, my chair's actually broken. I didn't realize it until I went to go put it up. Here's the desk. I don't really know what to say about it. All right, so it's really high. I've also got all of this covered because we did some sanding in here and even though it comes with a dust bag, it goes everywhere anyway. 
So this is my desk. Um, I wanted it at my hip height. Some of it did go in the bag, but a lot of it went like everywhere else, which is why we put all the bits and pieces up. After we sanded it, it was a really like white color, which I really liked. And I did not want to put anything on top, but Reese insisted <laughs> that something has to go on top. And being already in the room, pre-built, I can't take it out to put varnish or something on there or a sealant. And in my experiences with those sort of products, they are very strong. They smell horrendous and yeah, they're just not something I wanted to have uh, in here curing for seven days, uh, especially with the fabrics. What I went with was natural beeswax. I've never even heard they put natural beeswax on this sort of stuff. In hindsight, I wish I purchased the ones that were already creamed because uh, I didn't want to spend $30 on it because I knew I would only do one coat because I didn't want to do more than that. Um, I knew I'd only use a tiny bit. So I bought one of the sticks and then it didn't have instructions on how to do it. So I thought you just had to melt it. But when I was Googling how to do like the beeswax stuff, it said they had to put like a different product with it. And I was like, oh my god, I've already been out of Bunnings three times today. I don't want to go back and get something else. Especially because Reese was really reluctant to get the beeswax. <laughs> Especially the one that came in a hard, like it was hard. You had to grate it and then melt it. Um, yeah, I'll go get it so you can see what it is. So this is what I used. It also says that, yeah, waterproofing candles, rust prevention, wood conditioner, waterproofing. It has waterproofing twice. Yeah, it doesn't really have much info about, like, it just says to melt it. And it doesn't have anything about how to melt it. I put it in the microwave first, it melt. Uh, when I put it in for 30 seconds, it kind of just got, I don't know, it went weird. But I don't know if it would have melted in the microwave. I'm not really sure. So I ended up putting it in hot water, like, with a... Like in a mug in hot water that didn't melt it either so i ended up putting the mug in a in a tin like a and i'm putting that in a saucepan putting that on that stove and that finally melted it and what once it was melted then i added olive oil uh because apparently that's what you can add with it because i was googling different things you can add with the beeswax I don't know why you have to add an extra thing. I don't know. I didn't Google that far into it. It just said in every single thing I went into, like you add something. So I thought, oh, anyway, it's done now. Um, I thought it'd be like kind of tacky. It's a, like a bit grippy. Like not fully, like I can still do this really easily. I don't know, I guess it just feels like wood that's been, had the stuff done joined here as well. In hindsight again, I should have sanded right here. I didn't sand very well from probably here to here because there's a bit of a lip. Everywhere else is pretty good. And there was like a little bit of a gap. When me and Jackson put this on, we didn't put it on fast enough, I guess, or tight enough. So it just left like a tiny little gap part. Put a lot of the beeswax in between that gap and it's kind of filled it up. So you can't really notice it as much or as bad. And it smells so nice. It's just, it smells like beeswax. So I to, I didn't even want anything on it in the first place because I really wanted to keep the natural look without going any darker. And even right now, like the color that it is here compared to here, like in the sunlight, I don't like this color. It's too, it's too orange for me. Right down the bottom, there's bits of wood. They were going to actually go on their side, so they were going to be 90 mils high, but they ended up being 45 because when we put in this and we had them sitting upright and then we had some stuff on top, these ones on top, I went to it and I was like, mm, this might be a little bit too high. So we ended up flipping the bottom ones so then they're laying flat. Then I've got the two 8 cube units. So that's more wood to make it higher, but also because I loved my other desk so much and I haven't painted that and I probably won't because I'm lazy, but look at that. It is a big old thingy in there. I need to clean in there though because look at the sawdust. Anyway, um, so yeah, perfect for my tissue paper because it's going to like be my packing station over here. I still, I don't know if I want to move it, this thing a touch that way, again, I don't know, 
I don't know if I feel a bit cramped over this way. Maybe just like buy that much or something. And like maybe like my MacBook and stuff in here. Just so they're out of the way. Then we put a MDF board in. So when I was in Bunnings, it took me so long to figure out what I wanted. Because I was set on having a white tabletop. I had a mel melamine part like in the um, tray of the ute already. And for anyone that doesn't know what that is, it's sort of like this. But as you can see, like it it chips so easily. Like the piece that I put in, it was already chipped um, all around the sides and looked horrible. And like there's no really way of fixing that. So I was like, nope, we're getting rid of that. And I went back to this stuff. Now this was expensive. This was 59 per piece and I needed two pieces to make the um, table lip. And sort of, I'm sort of thinking in hindsight, I probably didn't even need the table lip because it's actually really big uh, without it. <laughs> I just, I kind of thought, like, I really, really want it, but actually it would have been fine just the way it was. Yeah, so we did a join here. So you can, you can see it, but it also blends in with the boards. So I just did one coat of beeswax and olive oil. You have to do it, like, um, every so so long like every year or something and I was I think I was meant to do two coats but I did not want to because it took way too long to melt it and everything and I just got over it very quickly that's that's the table ah oh, and the reason I did a lip was so I could fit a chair under and not have my knees like have space for my knees sort of thing because I didn't want yeah I didn't want to hit hit into the cubes that was why I did a lip Okay, I'm sitting on one of the kitchen chairs and my knees are only just touching right now. So maybe it is a big enough flip. If I did any shorter, it probably would have been annoying. This is all new <laughs> and that down there is also all new. I have so many new things put on the website plus uh, all of them and actually nearly all of those actually. All of those except that mustard print. Uh, probably some over there too. Probably some, some of them. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Way too many. Hi. So today, what have I really done today? I sort of started flipping all of my new fabrics onto boards, but then I thought, you know what, that's something I could do on live. So I stopped doing that and did a wholesale order that I needed to get done. And I got that finished and shipped out. And then I was like, well, I'm going to go get rid of all my cardboard and stuff at the farm. So I went to the farm, dropped all that off and gave my brother a slab of beer for helping me out um, all day yesterday. And then I went to Spotlight. I got a heap of these. Heaps of them. I probably should have got some of the um, like small long ones as well. But these are probably easier to store underneath. So I got a couple of those. And I also bought some stuff, of course. She's folded them so nicely in here. Wreck it all. Okay. I got more gingham. And this one I'm gonna try and make a dress out of, or at least that's why I bought what I bought it for. But in saying that, I also have a fabric down here that I bought to make pants out of over a year ago and I still haven't made them. So who knows? Um I also bought this. This is like a dusty pink gingham. That's so nice. And then I've got some school colours. Just like the smaller checks. 
thought that would be popular. Uh, I bought this again because this is one of my favourites. It's like a kind of a lighter yellow one. And I really wanted a scrunchie out of it. And it's really cute. And then I just got the shirt. What is it shirt? See, see, shaka. See, sucker one. Yeah. Go heap of that. Put a heap of this behind the camera onto boards. Haven't really done much else other than that. Oh, right. I went looking for ch a chair uh, for this area in front of me because I will need a chair for the bench because it's not just a cutting bench. It's also my workstation um, where I'm going to be flipping scrunchies, elasticing, YouTubing, that sort of stuff. I'm going to need to sit down. I did try and stand for most of the day today and it just got too much. So I went to Officeworks and I look in there and they were very expensive. And then I went to like a bar stool. I think that's where I was getting at. Um, then I went to Fantastic Furniture and had a look in there. And there really wasn't anything that really tickled my fancy. <laughs> I was going to go to Kmart, right? But I got in my car and went to roll down the windows. So my car was like sort of on but not on properly. And then my battery died after because I sat there for maybe a minute or two on my phone before turning my car properly on. Uh, because I just wanted to get the window down because it was hot as. Um, so yeah, I was stranded for a bit. But luckily my dad had came back from his holiday destination, uh, today because some of the pigs got out in the farm. <laughs> so, yeah, he came and helped me. But now I'm going to have to get a new battery. So I couldn't go to Kmart because I, I think where, I, where I'm going to go get the chair. I want to get a bar stool from Kmart. Because the one I'm thinking of, we have them. I think mum has them. Mum's got some, and then we, at the farm, we had the black version, but they're like white legs and like this colour top, uh, the top of my tabletop. So I thought that would look really nice in here, and I could get two and just have them in the corner, and then I can use the chair I already had in here for the sewing machine, and that way I'm not spending another $300 on chairs, because it's just getting very expensive. I've already spent what five five probably over a grand easily on what's in here right now all the new furniture um like this table was nearly five hundred dollars just itself uh oh and then obviously like the sewing machine that was nearly three grand i've spent <laughs> a lot of money in the last month um and just need to slow it down just a touch but in good news uh, when I went to Spa, I also took back my other sewing machine, which has been giving me grief for like the last two months. Uh, and they were happy to just refund it, which was really good of them. I would have been, yeah, I would have been happy either way if they denied it or if they sent it away or if they, whatever they did. But yeah, they just said, did you want a refund and all that. Like, you know what? That's probably the best bet because I've already got, you know, heaps of machines and I've got my industrial now. Um, yeah, I can't help myself. Oh yeah, and I'm almost finished doing the room. It's like there's only a couple more things left in the, like out here. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about putting some of them in here. And uh, depending on how many sizes I can fit, maybe I could put some up here because there's heaps of room next to the laptop. Or I was thinking maybe I'll move these somewhere else and I could put them here too because that would be a really convenient location for me. Okay, so I'm almost finished the room. Uh, there really isn't that much more to do besides put a few other bits and pieces in. I managed to get all these boxes in. So there's heaps of boxes there. There's also another box out there. Um, and there's heaps of rubbish, anyway. Um, over here, look at all of the boxes. So this is my packing station on this side. So I can just grab a box super easily. And I've also got all of these. So I've actually ended up putting them this way because they're going to be easier to take out they're not going to be on top of each other i also got a heap more boards from spotty i think i already said that though and then i put some more boxes in here so the cupboard in the hallway is looking pretty bare which is a good thing because i need room to put all my merch and stuff somewhere but yeah this is what's looking like so far all right so here's what we've all been waiting for it is all done it's really sunny today, it's hurting my eyes. I won't do an actual tour, I'm just going to quickly show you the basics. So I've got all my fabrics under here, I ended up turning them around because it would be easier for me to grab them out. Um, my tissue paper, um, my bits and pieces under there. And then I've got all my, my packaging stuff, like my boxes, because I'm going to have a lot of my stuff in here. And I mean the market stuff is just in here, so anything that I'll be pulling out 
it would just be easier on this side. And then over here, got all the bits and pieces in here. I'm going to put my Ozpost boxes up there because they're it's really uh, tall, <laughs> so I won't really be able to put anything else up there. Um, so it's just easiest to put the Ozpost ones because they're light and at least they're out of the way. I decided to keep the trolley in here. I don't know if I'll use it that much. It's mostly what I use to put like all the junk on. I still haven't used the machine and now I won't be able to use it till next year because I'm going away to my holiday house for the night. So. Probably tomorrow or the next day, I'll finally try and um, figure out how to use it. Now, with the chairs, I do want to get like a bar stool because I've been using the one from the kitchen in here and yeah, it's been really comfy. I did post in a group and asked what other people use. A lot of people said they just stand, but I mean, I can't stand for that long, <laughs> like, especially editing YouTube videos. I tried kneeling on this thing um, and even then, like my knees got sore after a while and yeah so it was just annoying our chairs are so bulky that's why i want a bar stool or something that's that's pretty much it i mean this all this is still the same it's just everything else that's different i'm really happy with it i think i utilize the space really well it's definitely a lot better on my back than uh that tidy table and just the space underneath to put all like my bolts of fabric is so much better and saving so much room and i still have heaps of room on the shelving i could put so much more stuff up here so yeah i'll do a full uh video tour once i get some scrunchies in those uh bits over there so then you can kind of see and visualize it more than me just telling you this is what it's going to look like I'm definitely going to do it color-coded as well, so don't worry. But other than that, that's pretty much the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Do you like the set out? Did you prefer my last set out? Or do you like this one better? I'm sort of in love with the table. And I haven't even used the Juki yet, so I can't say I love it yet. But I know I will. Super exciting. I hope you all have a very safe and happy New Year's. By the time this video is posted, it will probably be a few weeks past New Year's. So, apologies. But I'm so excited to be going into 2022 with a beautiful new space um, that is just so much more function functional than my last one. I hope you guys have a great day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.